this class we discuss about resistance inductance and capacitance in a single phase ac circuit first is ac circuit having resistance only this is a circuit diagram here v is uh, rms voltage i is rms current r is a uh, resistance this is a waveform this is a voltage waveform this is a current waveform both the current and voltage are positive sine waves thus the current through the resistor is in phase with the voltage across the resistor here the phase difference is zero we know that resistor is an energy converting device it converts electrical energy into heat a resistor consumes only real power its reactive power consumption is zero here the small v is a instantaneous voltage small i is a instantaneous current vm is a maximum voltage im is a maximum current i can write instantaneous voltage is equal to vm into sin omega t i is equal to im into sin omega t by ohms law instantaneous current i is equal to instantaneous voltage divided by resistance that is equal to vm by r into sin omega t we know that vrm is equal to vm by root 2 maximum voltage is equal to root 2 times vrms that is equal to root 2 into capital v similarly maximum current is equal to root 2 times capital i we know that im is equal to vm by r i substitute im is equal to root 2 into i that is equal to root 2 into v divided by r root 2 root 2 get cancel v is equal to i into r the applied voltage is counterbalanced by the voltage drop across the resistor the voltage drop is called resistive voltage drop v suffix r here the resistive voltage drop is equal to the applied voltage therefore capital v is equal to resistive voltage drop that is equal to i in r average power is equal to product of v r m s into i r m s capital v in i that is equal to i square in r that is equal to v square by r in watts second is ac circuit having inductance only this is a voltage current l having negligible resistance here this is a voltage waveform this is a current waveform green is a voltage waveform red is a current waveform this is vm this is im here the phase difference is 90 degree from the current waveform this is a phase diagram we know that instantaneous voltage v is equal to vm into sin omega t i is equal to im into sin omega t the self induced emf e suffix l is equal to minus l into average rate of change of current in ampere per second i can write e suffix l or self induced emf e is equal to minus l into di by dt at any instant two voltages are present in the circuit one is applied voltage e another is self induced emf el according to grijas voltage law v plus el is equal to 0 v is equal to minus el therefore v is equal to minus el that is equal to l into di by dt here i is equal to im into sin omega t that is equal to l into d into im into sin omega t by dt differentiate it i got b is equal to omega into l into im into cos omega t cos omega t can be written as sin omega t plus 90 therefore v is equal to omega into l into im into sin omega t plus 90 degree the phase difference is 90 pi is measured from the current phase r pi is plus 90 hence pure inductive circuit the current lag behind the voltage by 90 degree the third is ac circuit having capacitance only i am connecting a capacitor across a voltage source the voltage across the capacitor by v volts in t seconds and if the charging current is i amps then the increase in charge q is equal to i into t coulombs the corresponding increase in charge q also equals to c into v therefore i into t is equal to c into v i is equal to c into v by t that is equal to c into rate of change of voltage i is equal to c into dv by dt i know v is equal to vm into sin omega t i substitute v in this equation i is equal to c into d into vm into sin omega t by dt 
that is equal to vm into c into omega into cos omega t cos omega t can be written as sin omega t plus 90 therefore i is equal to vm into c into omega into sin omega t plus 90 here, im is equal to vm into c into omega. Therefore, i instantaneous current i is equal to im into sin omega t plus 90. v is equal to vm into sin omega t. Here, the green is a current waveform, red is a voltage waveform. Here, the phase difference is 90 degree. Here, phase difference between voltage and current is 90 degree. This is a Fason diagram. Hence, in pure capacitive circuit, the voltage lags behind the current by 90 degrees. Inductive reactance. When an alternating voltage is supplied across an inductance, the induced EMF produced opposes the flow of current through it. This opposition or resistance to the flow of current offered by the inductance is called inductive reactance it is denoted by x suffix l you know that vm maximum voltage is equal to omega into l into im maximum current vm by im is equal to omega into l we know omega is equal to 2 pi f therefore vm by im is equal to 2 pi into f into l Vm by Im in ohms, also Vrms by Irms is equal to Xl. Therefore, Xl is equal to 2 pi f into L. I is equal to V by Xl, that is equal to V by 2 pi f into L. Where f is a frequency in Hertz and L in Hendry's. The voltage drop across the inductance L is called the inductive voltage drop. It is denoted by V suffix L. V suffix L is equal to V v is equal to xl into i capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is denoted by x suffix c capacitive reactance xc is the ratio of the voltage applied to the capacitor and current through the capacitor we know that maximum current is equal to c into omega into vm vm by im is equal to 1 by omega c omega is equal to 2 pi f Therefore, Vm by Im is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into C. The unit of Vm by Im is ohms. Vm by root 2 is equal to Vrms. Im by root 2 is equal to Irms. That is equal to Xc. That is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into C. That is equal to capital V by I. That is it's not Vrms and Irms. That is equal to Xc. Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc. Here, V is equal to I into Xc. This relation may be called the Ohm's law for purely capacitive circuit. The part of the supply voltage which charges the capacitor is known as capacitive voltage drop. V suffix C, that is a capacitive voltage drop, that is equal to V. Vc is equal to Xc into I. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.